Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and I'm back with a new tutorial on development of surfaces. So guys, this time around, I'll be taking up a new object that is going to be a cone. So why wait? Let's begin with our problem number one. And here it is. So it's based on a cone and a cone having base 50 mm diameter and axis 60 mm long is resting with its base on HP. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to the VP and inclined at 60 degrees to the HP and bisecting axis draw the development so the object in this case is obviously a cone having dimensions in the form of diameter base diameter is 50 and axis length is 60 millimeters and at the same time there is a condition that has been given to us that is resting with its base resting with its base on hp all right now guys just think about it if a cone is resting with its base that is a circular base on the horizontal plane then one thing is for sure that the true shape of the base can only be seen from the top and hence you have to begin by drawing the top view of the base all right that's going to be and that construction is going to happen below the x y line fine let's move ahead and let's extract data regarding this cutting plane okay aka auxiliary inclined plane auxiliary inclined plane that's what you call a cutting plane when it makes a certain angle with the horizontal plane okay and perpendicular to the vertical plane as well the cutting plane is at an angle of 60 degrees and at the same time it is bisecting this axis. Alright, now after this what we will need to do is, now guys you need to think about this. Now if you try to unfold the cone and flatten it up, okay, there is some kind of a pie kind of a portion which you are going to see. It, it resembles to that of a pizza, alright, and it is going to make a certain angle and that certain angle has to be calculated and we have this formula for that. 360 multiplied by the radius of base upon slant height. Radius of base is obviously the base diameter is 50, so radius is going to be 25. Slant height can be calculated by using this Pythagoras formula. Okay. On putting the values, we get this as our final answer that is 138.5. Okay, fine. Let's move ahead and let's start the construction. As I've already told you, we'll initially start the construction by making the top view, and for that, let's have a reference line that's what you call the xy line below which I'm going to place a dot now this dot is what you call the apex okay the top view of the apex and this is represented by point O and with this as center and with radius as 25 we're going to draw a circle something like this next step let us provide some dimensioning to this circle okay so this is 555 is a representation for diameter now let's divide this circle into eight equal parts fine now let's uh, start from this point over here one two three four let's give all the points some names okay so that's it one two three four five six seven and eight now guys uh, we have successfully drawn this top view and now we want to create this front view all right and for that we have to look at this object right from here okay so the front view of one is going to lie here one dash then front view of two and eight are going to strike over here that is two dash eight dash Similarly, we have 3 dash and 7 dash over here. We'll have 4 dash and 6 dash. We'll have 5 dash over here. All right. Fine. Let's write them down. Okay. Now, the axis height has been given to us. All right. And it's equivalent to 60 millimeters. So, this is going to be 60. We need to go ahead, up ahead, 60 millimeters. So, this is going to be the axis. And now, let us say that this point over here is the top, uh, is the front view of the apex, that is O dash. Now let's join all these points, all these points, okay, with this apex. Should look something like this. All right, guys, that's done. Front and top view done. Next thing to do is to locate the cutting plane. So how can we do so? We know very well that the cutting plane is intersecting or rather bisecting this axis over here. If a cutting plane is bisecting this axis, that means one thing is for sure that it is dividing this axis into two equal parts. That means 30 above and 30 below. So that is the point. And through this point, so this point actually is at a height of from this point to this point, it's the height is 30 millimeters. All right. So from this point, we're going to draw a cutting plane and it should look something like this. Okay. At an angle of 60 degrees. That's it. All right, guys. Now this cutting plane over here is intersecting the base. Okay. As well as at the generators. This is also generator 0307. This generator is what you call 0406. And this generator over here is what you call 05. Okay, so we're starting from this point, it is cutting exactly at 2 and 8, and this is going to be A, this is going to be B, so A point is somewhere around O3, B point is somewhere around O7, then we have C, then we have D, C, around, C is somewhere around O4, okay, 
D is somewhere around O6, then we have this point also that is going to be E. Fine. Now we need the true length for development. We need true length. As I've already told you, you need to pick a generator. So right now we have as many as eight generators: O1, O2, O3, O4, and so on. Out of these eight generators, there there is one such generator which is absolutely parallel to XY. So we can see clearly that O1 generator is absolutely parallel to this XY line, and hence its corresponding front view, that is O dash one dash, will show the true length. You can also say that O5 is also parallel to XY line. Okay, so O5 corresponding uh, front view is also going to show the true length. So either you can take true length as O dash one dash or O dash five dash. Hence, so let's move forward. Okay, so the true length is O dash one dash, and let's move forward. Let's have a point A, big and bold, O point, and when with O dash one dash as the radius, and with this guy O as the center, I'm going to put up an arc over here. Something like this. This angle is going to be guys 138.5 as we have already calculated. Okay, on flattening up the cone, the angle it is going to subtend at the center or at the apex is going to be 138.5. Fine. Let's move ahead, and this is going to be the overall uh, pi. Okay, and let's have this point as one. And now we need to divide this cone, this particular section, into eight equal parts. All right, it should look something like this: eight equal parts. All right. So initially, you saw this overall angle over here, one thirty-eight point five. You can bisect this angle. Angle of bisection is pretty simple. Okay. So you, when you bisect this angle, it gets divided into two equal parts. Then pick up any one portion. Okay. Then divide it further into two parts. So one can be divided into two. Two can be divided into four, and four can be made. Eight. All right. That's how you need to go about your task. So these are all the uh, division points, and let's name them one by one. This is going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So we have all the points. Okay. Fine. Now, guys, uh, we need to start developing this in the best possible way. You can clearly see that this cutting plane over here intersects the base at two dash comma eight dash. So at two and eight. So let's make point over here. And let's make a point here. So this is the point where our development is going to start, and it's going to end at eight. All right. Let's have the development for A and B. So A point is on O3, and B point is on O7. All right. So, but for that, what we need to do is we need to project this A dash B dash onto the true length, and it's going to look something like this. So this new point over here is going to be A1 dash and B1 dash. All right. So now what you need to do is keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here. Then with O dash O as center, you need to put an arc, something like this. And this is going to be your point A, all right. And again with that same with that same radius, we need to again put an arc over here along this O seven over here. Okay, so you're going to have point B. Fine. So let's repeat this process for obtaining C and D. So C is going to be over here around four. And D is going to be here. That is along O6. So let's extend the line. Let's produce a line um, from C, and it's going to intersect this true length over here. So this is going to be C1 dash, T1 dash. So again, keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here. Then with O as the center, put an arc one over here. So this is going to be your point C. Put one more arc over here, and this is going to be guys your point D. Finally, we have this point E dash. So E dash is already on a true length, so doesn't matter. You can take this arc also, O dash E dash, or you can project it on the true length. Okay, so this is going to be same. If you take it as O dash E one dash, you ha also have the option to go for O dash E dash. Both of them, or both the arc lengths, or or both the radiuses are going to be the same. Okay, now with O as center, you need to put an arc over here. Please watch carefully. So this is going to be your point E. All right, guys. Only thing left is to join all these points, all these points in the proper sequence with the help of a smooth curve. And finally, it should look something like this. So that's the development of the cone over here. And now, finally, I need to uh, tell you guys which portion is to be darkened and which is to be left as it is. So initially, all the drawing that we have made can be carried out with the help of a three edge pencil. And finally, the portion which is to be darkened. Should look something like this, and it has to be carried out with the help of an edge pencil. That's it. 
so this portion you see over here below the cutting plane okay has to be darkened so this is the portion all right which has to be darkened all right guys so that was all from my side and if you have any doubts any queries feel free to ask write them down in the comment section below i'll try to answer them in the best possible way and as quickly as possible so guys join us again to learn more about engineering drawing and do subscribe this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing